Speed time graphs are slightly different to the more typical distance time graphs and they'll only be found on the higher papers. You may be asked to work out an acceleration at a certain point. You may also be asked to work out an estimate of a distance travelled um, between certain points. This question wants you to know the, the gradient when t equals 2. Now gradient of course is worked out by using a tangent, a straight line at that point and gradient is rise over run or the distance up over the distance across. So the point we're looking at is where t equals 2 so find that on the graph and you'll see at that red dot that it is a curve but we can draw on a, a tangent at that point using a ruler. So make your ruler be as close to the line as possible and as, as near to the, the gradient of the line as possible and use your pencil to draw on a line at that point. Now I suggest you go through key points so don't just do it randomly look at the time at the bottom and try and make it line up between whole numbers or the, the dark grey lines. So you'll see my tangent, my straight red line goes from where time is one second to where time is three seconds. What we're going to do is work out the gradient by doing rise over run or distance up divided by distance across. Okay so going up this triangle I'm going up from 3 up to 7 so that's risen by 4 and then we've gone across from one second to three seconds. From one second to three seconds. So we've gone across two. So the gradient is four divided by two, which is two. So the gradient at that point is two. Now, when you actually draw on a gradient at this line, you've actually worked out the acceleration of whatever's moving at that point. So part B says, hence state an estimate of the, of the acceleration when t is 2. Well, the answer to the gradient was 2. That's what we've just worked out here. So my estimate for the acceleration will also be 2. Because whenever you've worked out the gradient of your tangent, that is the acceleration at that point. Now part C wants us to work out an estimate of how far the object moved between 7 and 10 seconds. And the good thing about these graphs is the area under the graph tells you how far it's moved. Now it's telling me it wants to only look at the graph between 7 and 10 seconds, so let's just look at that area in particular. So between 7 and 10, looking at the bottom, is this part of the graph. Let's shade that in. So we want to know the area of this yellow, yellow patch of the graph here. Now it's told me to use th um, three strips of equal width. So I need to now st split this diagram into three strips. They need to be equally width. Now you can work out the areas under there using the well using trapeziums or as I've done using rectangles and triangles. I'm going to label each part of this this area, this yellow area, using a one to six and we'll work out all, all six areas. Okay, so be very, very accurate with your readings because this is a very high level skill. So area one, it's a rectangle, its base is one, goes from seven to eight, so that's got an, an, a base of one, and its height up to the top of the rectangle is quite difficult to read off. So I'm gonna have to put on a, a line to help me read it off. So it's somewhere between 8 and 10, but again, I have to be exact. Let's just look at what this scale even goes up in. Well, on the left-hand side, between 0 and 2, there are 10 little squares. 
So each little square is a 0 0.20, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and so on takes us up to 2. So starting here at 8, we've got 8, 8.2, 8.4, 8.6, 8.8, 9, 9.2, 9.4, 9.6. It's just in between 9.4 and 9.6. So actually I'd say at that point is 9.5. Okay, so the area of, of block 1 will be 1 times by 9.5 which obviously is 9.5. Let's now do area 2. So again, the base of area 2 is 1, because it goes from 8 to 9. That's got a, an air, a length of 1. Now, how, how high is block 2? Again, I'm going to use a line to help me. So reading across that red line, I can see that block 2 has a height of exactly 9, and I'll now use that in my calculations. So area 2 is a base of 1 and a height of 9. 1 times 9 is also 9. Okay, let's move on to block 3. Again, the base is 1 because it goes from 9 to 10. And again, I'll move the red line to work out the height. So I can clearly see that the height of block 3 is 8. So block 3 is 1 times 8, which is 8. Okay, I now need to work out the areas of blocks 4, 5 and 6. So these are triangles, so I'll do the same as before, but I'll have to half my answer, because the area of a triangle is base times height, and then half. So, block 4, its base length is 1, and I now need to work out its height. Well, again, I'll put the red lines on just to help me with this. Okay, so block 4 has got a base of 1, and the height goes from 9.5 to 9.8, so the height is 0 0.3. So block 4 is base is 1, its height is 0 0.3, and I need to remember to half that answer because it's a triangle, and that's 0 0.15. I'll do the same now for blocks 5 and 6. So block 5 has a base of 1, because it goes across 1 unit from 8 to 9, and the height goes from 9.0 to 9.5, so its height is 0 0.5. So I now do that calculation for block 5. Base times by height divided by 2, which is 0 0.25, and then finally for area 6, And block 6, or area 6, has again a base of 1. Its height over here goes from 8 up to 9, so its height is also 1. So the area triangle, as before, is base times by height divided by 2, which is 0 0.5. All I need to do now is add up all the areas I've got. So I've got block 1, block 2, block 3, block 4 block 5 and block 6. I just need to add those up to get the total area. And these add up to give me an answer of 27.4. Now it does want a distance covered. This question refers to metres on the left or the y-axis. So I can confidently say that it's 27.4 metres. If you'd have used trapeziums on that question, you could have used um, three trapeziums, that would have been absolutely fine. But many students find it easier to use triangles and rectangles, but you must make sure your readings are absolutely pinpoint accurate to get the marks. And also show full working out, because it could be a four mark question. Okay, so here's a question for you to try. Um, I'm going to just put on the key details, so I think it might help you with this question. Part A wants to know the gradient when t is 6, and then to work out the acceleration. And then the second part wants you to work out an estimate of the distance covered between 1 and 5 seconds. So, pause now and think what you'll do for each part of the question, then I'll put on some useful points. Okay, so these points will be useful. So we want to know the... Estimate of the gradient where t is 6, so that's at the red dot. And then it wants you to work out the area 
or the distance covered using the area between 1 and 5 seconds, that's where the green arrows are. Okay, just recap how you're going to work out the gradient, and again I'll put you a useful line on in a second. Okay, so here's the line. So let's look at that gradient of that tangent. So the gradient of a tangent is rise over run. Now this little triangle here rises 2 and runs 4 or goes across 4. And 2 divided by 4 is a half or 0 0.5. So when it asks me what the acceleration is at that point, the answer will just be 0 0.5. And in fact it might have just asked me that without even asking me to do the gradient. But you need to recall that the acceleration wants a little gradient, a little tangent working out. For part C, it wants the distance covered, so I split this into two strips, because the question did say use two strips. Now I've managed to chunk this up into two rectangles, which are number one, two, and two triangles, three and four. Now I suggest you pause it again to work out the answers before they come up on the screen. OK, so here come the answers. OK, just talking you through this. First of all, on the graph itself, I've highlighted all the key, key amounts. So this point here is 2.5. It's got a height of 2.5. Uh, this line here, block 2, has got a height of 6.6. .6, reading that off from there. And if you go up to the very, very, very top, the top of this point goes across to 9. We can use all those amounts to work out the height of all the points. So, block 1, calculation over here on the right, block on the left. Base is 2, because it goes across from 1 second to 3 seconds. So, base of 2, height of 2.5. So, 2 times 2.5 is 5. Block 2, base of 2, height of 6.6. .6. 2 times 6.6 .6 is 13.2. OK, area 3, which is the triangle, has a base of 2. The height is 4.1 from here up to here. So 2 times 4.1 divided by 2 is 4.1. And finally, area 4 goes from here to here. The base is 2. The height is 2.4. And 2 times 2.4 divided by 2 is 2.4. As before, with your four areas, 1, 2, 3 and 4, we need to add them up, as shown here on the right. The total will be the area, which is the distance covered. So adding these up gives me 25.2. And again, I know it's metres because on the left-hand side, the units is metres.